I, sorry, I, I get lost in this beautiful kitten's eyes. So I'm gonna do a coding challenge right now. And the coding challenge is the kittenizer, chrome extension, kitten narrator, kitten extension, kitten chrome extension, chrome kitten, I don't, I don't know what to call it. Somebody give me a name, we'll put it in the first comment, I'll pin it. But I'm going to make a chrome extension that replaces any image on any website that you're on with an image of a kitten. I'm gonna do it in a really simple, basic way. I made earlier today a bunch of tutorials about Chrome extensions. I might suggest you go and watch those for more depth, but I'm gonna still do this from no code at all. The only thing I'm going to start with is these five kitten images, and they all come from unsplash.com, which is a website with uh, free images. These are the images that I have uh, randomly picked for this coding challenge. And as a challenge to you, after I make this, if it's successful, you might think about making a version of this that pulls the images dynamically from Unsplash, or uses something besides kittens, or tries to replace the image with the most appropriate kitten that matches what the image originally was. I don't know. Use your imagination. But let's get started. So the first thing I need for a Chrome extension is what? It is a file called manifest.json. Okay? So what do I need in the manifest.json? I need to say, uh, I need to have all the configuration stuff for my Chrome extension. Manifest <laughs> version <laughs> 2, which is the version of Chrome extension whatever that I'm making. Someday I'm going to look up what this means, but I think it used to put 1, but now you have to use 2. Maybe someday you'll put 3. I don't know. Could you imagine a world, in a world, where the manifest version is number 7? Um, then I'm going to xkittenshun. shouldn't. thank you. That's a good... Good one. Okay, Chrome kittens. Okay, now I'm going to say name. X extension and then X kittenshun. I think like that. X kittenshun. Chrome X kittenshun. This is not so great, but we'll keep this for right now. <laughs> and then, uh, whoa, version. Everybody knows what version this is, right? Right? Uh, say it with me. One, two, three. Did you say point 0.1? Yeah, that's what I said. I don't know, whatever. Point one doesn't matter. Uh, and I think I should post put that in quotes. Who knows? Um, and then I'm, I, um, I'm making a content script. So uh, what I need to do is have a content script. And it's content scripts because I could have multiple ones, but I'm just going to have one. If you don't know what a content script is, you could uh, go look at my previous tutorials, which I will link to in the description. And my content script. This is going to be for... Um, uh, let's see, how do I do this? It's hard to talk and think and type at the same time. All URLs. So I want, you might someday want to make a Chrome extension that only replaces kittens on particular websites, only replaces images with kittens, but I'm going to do it for all URLs. And then I need to have a JavaScript file where I'm going to have all my code. I think I say JS, and then I could have multiple JavaScript files, but I'm just going to have one. I'm going to call it content.js. Although, you know what? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm going to call it kitten.js. Kitten okay, now, here's the thing. Let's just first make sure this works. I got to deal with the images. That's one thing I didn't do in my tutorials. Now, I probably got some syntax wrong here because I never get it right, but I'm at least going to now make a new file, which is called kitten.js. And I'm going to just in that say console.log kittens of the world unite as one. Okay. So I at least now I'm going to have a Chrome extension that when I go to any web page, I will see this in the JavaScript console. That's our first step. And again, if you want some of the details about how this is working, go back and watch my. I'm going to stop saying that. Um, so now, how do I install this? I've got to be in Chrome at the URL chrome colon slash slash extensions. I've got to have developer mode enabled. And then I can say load unpacked extension. I can go and find uh, wherever that was. It was on my desktop under chrome extension, uh, 03 kittens. So I'm going to select that. And oh, I didn't get any errors. So if I had made a syntax error in manifest.json, some stuff would show up here. And then it's enabled. I'm going to just turn off this other extension. That's fine. I'll leave it on. Um, and now I'm going to go to a web page like, um, what's a good web page where we want to replace all the images with kittens? I'm afraid to go to a news website, although it will be nice to replace everything on the news website with images of kittens. Let me just go to, um, go to the ITP website for right now just to, just to see. Okay. Whoa. Oh, this is something else. This has nothing to do with me. 
And we can see that this extension is working because kittens of the world unite as one. There we go. So my extension is working. Now the next thing I need to do is I need to figure out from my content script, I need to look at the content and find all of the image elements on the page. Now there's probably a variety of ways that you can have an image. But let's actually just play with this here for a second. Let's use the console to kind of like mess around to understand what we want to do. So if I say uh, images equal document dot get elements by tag name img mm, oh images right so we got a bunch there's a whole bunch of images so that's good and we can see images have a property called a uh, source I believe <laughs> somewhere in here boy there's a lot of stuff s is an attribute source and you can see that's the source of the image summer at tish dot gif dot preset dot square dot jpeg so what I want to do is look at all these images, find that source property, and replace what's in there with a URL to an image of a kitten. Now, I'm not just any kitten, the kittens that I happen to have as part of my extension. Of course they could be URLs to other places, but I have these particular, now I, I could probably load these in like an array, but what I'm gonna do is let me just first Let's, this is gonna, this is gonna be a little tedious. Go make yourself a cup of tea or something for a second. There we go. Okay, so now I've got the images. Here's the thing. Files inside, just like in manifest.json, I have to say, ah, I want this JavaScript file to be part of my content script. I always also have to say, I don't remember what this is. Somebody in the chat correct me. It's something like web accessible resources. Is that right? Um, so somebody will correct me. Um, uh, all right, yes, I have the file names here too. Thank you very much. That would have been more efficient. <laughs> Breaking news. Someday I'll have that sound effect. Um, okay, so I think what I can do now is just, let's do something fancy. I'm gonna do something fancy just for fun, for no reason. Um, I'm gonna copy this into here. I'm gonna do a fine. I'm gonna get rid of all those slash slash space. Then I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna use a little re regular expression. I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Uh, beginning of a line, dot, star, question mark, end of line. This is a regular expression to find all of these things. Then I'm gonna replace, and I just wanna do it, I'm gonna replace it with, uh, and do I need to capture, I need to capture this. If you don't know about regular expressions, might I refer you to my regular expressions tutorial that would pop up right here, except there's no way for me to do that unless some magic post-production thing happens. Uh, I'm gonna replace this, this is really ridiculous that I'm doing this, with quote, dollar sign, one, end quote, comma. Replace all, boom, now I have, an array. Now I have it formatted to go into an array. Oh, it needs to be double quotes for JSON, that's fine. Uh, so find a single quote, replace it with a double quote. There we go. So now I have the web accessible resources. And maybe somebody has told me, I am being told, breaking news, that is correct. Uh, all right, so web accessible resources. So now these images are available to me as part of my Chrome extension. So what I want to do, if somebody, by the way, who's watching this video could find me a good, just like maybe in the, in the patron group, in the Slack channel, um, maybe you could post some links to some websites that might be good to run this on that have nothing too upsetting. Or, or embarrassing on them. <laughs> it's a tall order, I know, with the internet. Family-friendly coding show here, everybody. Um, so now what I want to do is, uh, I lost my train of thought. I want to do this in the Chrome extension itself. Now remember, a content script, and let's say, uh, let's say uh, file names, and I can get this from that. You know, there's probably an automatic way of doing this, but I am very prone to doing things in silly manual ways. So I have an array now with all those file names. And I'm going to ask for all of the image elements. Then, then I'm going, I know I'm using double quotes and single quotes in the same page. Don't everybody freak out all at once. Let's live with it. Let's come on. We can do it. Double quotes and single quotes can be in the same page and everything will be okay. All right, now let me say my new favorite thing, which is this fancy for loop thing that I learned about recently, for image element of images, I want to say 
Uh, I'm just going to actually console log image element.src. Let's just do that. So I just want to see the Chrome extension on any page that I'm on. Give me a list of, and I'm just going to check the chat here for a second. Um, web accessible resources should be on the top level of the manifest. Also, put them all in a folder and just do. So these are great suggestions from the chat. Thank you. So let's make some improvements here. Silly me. So first of all, this is not. Uh, necessarily specific to the content script. This is a top level thing for the uh, manifest. Thank you for that correction. And there's no reason for me to do this when I can just say uh, star.jpg. So this should be better. So any images, and by the way, it would make more sense, as I'm being told, to make a folder called kittens. And that way, this is cleaning this up a little bit. All of this goes in here, and then I can say kittens slash. So how am I doing? I think I'm in better shape. Let's reload the Chrome extension and see what happens. So I'm going to go back to here. I'm going to hit reload. Right, Anytime you make changes in your Chrome extension, hit reload, hit refresh, and I can see this is some nonsense that's happening, nothing to do with it. And I can see, look, here are all of the images that are on this page. Now the question is, to do the, uh, I'm, there's going to be a sizing thing that we're going to have to deal with at some point, but I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, uh, example page, imagejnih.gov slash docs. Okay, hold on, let me find this. I really need a good way of getting stuff from the Slack <laughs> chat into here. Uh, it, it, can you give me a Google search, Ruben, to find that page? Um, okay, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to, I think we're kind of, so all I actually need to do is I want to say uh, let r equal math.random times images, oh, file names dot length. Uh, math.floor. So I don't have, I'm not in P5, so I've got to do this with native JavaScript. I want to get a random index, and I could do this all sorts of other fancier ways, I'm sure, but I want to get a random, math.random gives me a number between 0 and 1, multiply it by the length of the array, take off the decimal place, and if I have 10 images, I'm getting a number randomly 0 through 9. And then I want to say uh, let source equal uh, uh, file names uh, r. And then I also need to do let URL. So here's the thing. I can't just say image ELT equals uh, Im image ELT dot source equals source. So here's the thing about a Chrome extension. These files, like where do they live? They're part of the Chrome extension. The source, the source attribute of an image element on a web page has to point to an actual valid path. And those Chrome extension paths, I, they're, they, they're like a weird thing that we don't know what it is. Fortunately for us, the Chrome extension API, so um, let's actually try to look up where this is. Chrome extension, um, Chrome extension, uh, uh, Chrome, what am I, Chrome extension get URL uh, image or something. So I want to find it in the documentation. Ah, extension.getURL. So this is what I want. I want to say browser, is this right? I thought it was chrome.extension. Oh, is this like, am I in the, ha, oh, this is like a generic thing, even higher level than, this is just like a browser. Interestingly enough, a lot of the stuff that's part of Chrome extensions, while part of the Chrome API is modeled off of this uh, more generic. Somebody will know more about this than I do. <laughs> okay, so I'm looking for this in uh, Chrome. Chrome extension. I just want to find the page, get URL. Um, here we go. This is what I'm looking for. This is the API. This is what I want. So this is the documentation page. I'll include some of these links in the video. This is a Chrome extension. This is part of the API and I want get URL. Get URL uh, gives you the URL of a, of a path that's part of your Chrome extension. So I should be able to say equals chrome.extension.getURL source. And let's call this file. Source is sort of the wrong thing. And just because I'm curious, um, let's actually do this. Let's put it in a variable and then set that to URL. And I just want to console log that URL. 
So here we go. I think we're actually pretty good. I think this is done. We just need to find some better web pages to run this on. Oh, I need to reload the Chrome extension. <laughs> that didn't work at all. <laughs> Let's look at the console. Hmm. Denying load. Oh, web resources must be listed in the web accessible resources manifest key in order to be loaded by pages outside the extension. Yeah, yeah, web accessible resources. Hmm. Oh, wait a sec. Hmm. Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. I know what the problem is. I put everything in a kittens folder. And then in my extension, oh, I forgot to say. Um, uh, they all have to have the kittens folder prefix. Okay, here we go again. Here we go again. Um, I have to reload. Wait, let's find a better web page. Let's, let's just be bold and go to the New York Times. And let's see if we can replace the images on the New York Times with kittens. Kittens, 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 kittens. <laughs> All right, so we can see here there's some work to be done here. Oops, uh, let's just let's browse the web now. Uh, NASA seems like a website that I might enjoy going to look at. Oh, look. <laughs> and look at this NASA website. Ooh, what's happening in NASA these days? But actually, I like the fact that when I Google image search for something like puppies, It's all kittens. <laughs> Look, kittens, oh boy, kittens, puppies, but that's a kitten. Um, so even if I search for unicorns, it's all kittens. And I could go to the unicorn Wikipedia page and it is a, so interestingly enough, not all images get replaced. Let's, so New York Times, for example, I bet you load some images through JavaScript in a different way. Uh, let's inspect this element here. It is, um, I don't know why, so I'd have to investigate, you know, there's, this looks like source, it's like a thumbnail that it's actually looking at maybe over the image. So there's all sorts of complexity with how different web pages work. So we'd have to, have to um, Wikipedia is not a good example of this. Let me think of one more. Let's just go to uh, shiftman.net. There we go. <laughs> this is nice. So um, thank you. You've got to definitely do quite a bit more to make this the robust kittenizer Chrome extension that I always hoped it would be. So let me give you some exercises if you want to follow along with this coding challenge. Think about other things that you might replace on a web page, uh, how you might replace text, how you might replace images, how you might place sounds. There's all sorts of possibilities there. Find a different set of images. Um, maybe you could actually use the Unsplash API to dynamically pull different images. Um, I will post the code to this. You will find a link to the GitHub repository where this code exists in the video's description. And in the next coding challenge, I'm going to do something very similar, but instead of replacing with images, maybe I'll leave the kitten thing here. I'm going to uh, make a Chrome extension that I can draw over the page. Uh, thank you for watching.